Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Arunodaya Mukherjee. Let's get you the headlines. Death and devastation in Libya. More than 5,000 are now known to have died after a storm caused two dams to burst. A handshake to mark the union of two of the world's most isolated leaders. After Kim's visit to Russia, North Korea's state media says Vladimir Putin has accepted an invite to visit Pyongyang. And is it a job beyond your wildest dreams? A U.S. news outlet advertises for a Taylor Swift reporter. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. Hello and welcome to the program. We begin with the story developing out of Libya, where the death toll from the weekend's devastating floods uh, has now risen to more than 5,000. What you're about to see are pictures that have come in from Derna, where uh, people are describing a tsunami of water hitting the city after two dams collapsed. More than 10,000 people are still missing. The BBC's Quentin Somerville with more details. When the storm came, fractured Libya was ill-prepared. Half a year's rainfall fell in just 24 hours. In daylight, as much as a quarter of the port city of Derna was revealed to be gone. 